Friday, President Trump earlier today showed his support for the people of Texas that are suffering greatly in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. Joining us now with Reaction, Editor-in-Chief Life Zet, Fox News contributor, nationally syndicated radio rock star. Does, can you just add a few more items to your resume for crying out loud? Gee, yeah, right. anything keep else? It, anything else coming, I forgot? Best-selling author? Yeah, can, can, throw um, a, can throw an overhand hardball really fast. Okay, other than that. You know, I, I wish I could have a sense of humor and say <laughs> the media is just irresponsible and hateful. The yeah. attacks against our first lady and the first daughter and an 11 year old kid and anybody that likes Trump. This is about as low as you get when you attack the shoes of the first lady as she's going to help people out that are still that have lost everything. I can't even imagine yeah, how I mean, we got to this point. Uh, well, I think it's it's a sign of how desperate the left is. It's a sign of how uh, absolutely unhinged they are. And I love how they're they're always for individual expression, expression in your sexuality, expression in your in this, your views on abortion, your expression on a whole bunch of things. But now you can't express yourself in the way you dress. I mean, they're for dressing in all manner of crazy, uh, crazy fashion choices, except, you know, Melania, for like some period of time, decides she wants to wear heels. Then she had sneakers on. Big deal. We have a catastrophe in Texas. We're dealing with it the best we can. The people of Texas coordinating with the feds, States are doing, a state is doing, I think, a tremendous job under Greg Abbott. I'm so glad you had him on tonight. What a star. Uh, and I think people are grateful that they actually have leadership that can navigate a, a, a once in a lifetime, once in a century weather event. This is really hard. And the best that, you, you know, Trump is doing a good job in coordinating when the best that they have is Melania's shoes. Okay, that's all I'll say. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's one, you know, but in many ways, I've been arguing, Laura, that with all of the obsession to take down the president and smear and slander him every day, in the process of focusing all their attention on that, the media, the Democrats and, and weak Republicans and everybody else, they're not serving the forgotten men and women that are in poverty on food stamps and out of the labor force. By focusing in on the insignificant, they're not helping the people that are struggling to save lives and are, are trying to rebuild their lives now. And to me, this exposes no, some, it's yeah. almost as if, you know what it is? It's like they were hoping the president failed for cheap political points. Let me just be blunt. That's what they're well, hoping they, for. Yeah. Well, they, they don't want to see him in a, in a successful mode at all. So when he, when he has an event uh, like this uh, befall the nation, befall the state of Texas, when we have a FEMA that actually coordinates correctly, it's not easy to do it, and they do a, they do a pretty good job. There's a, he's never going to get an accolade. I don't even think he's, he's waiting for that. But what he doesn't I, what care I will about say, it. Sean, is, is now he doesn't care. He, he knows what they are. But you, you hit on it when you talked about, you know, they want to go right to the core of, of fomenting discontent. They're not helping the average person by this type of nonsense, so this type of commentary. And what they have yeah. is identity it, politics. They're steeped in it. That's all they have. And that's all they, I think that's all they ever will have, whether it's the far left black bloc crowd, where they just want to shut down speech, or whether it's the so-called moderate progressives that also, they also don't want to debate. They want to demonize. So they might not physically attack you, but they'll demonize you and dismiss you and demean you in the way that they're doing to, that you see it to Trump you know, or to any Trump supporter. I've got to run, but I'm going to say this. Here's my prediction. This is going to boomerang back so hard and hit them so hard they won't know what, hit, what, what has happened. And they don't realize that people are seeing through this right. now. Laura, thank you. I think when you're we right, come Sean. Back, Great point. When we come back, more insanity. An assistant professor at University of Tampa fired. Why? Tweeting Hurricane Harvey was instant karma because people voted for Republicans. We'll explain that insanity straight ahead.